So DeBaby settled his lawsuit over that infamous sucker punch. You know, the one that had us all saying, what? It's about time. I mean, how long can it take to apologize and write a check? Maybe they were debating over the font size of the apology. DeBaby punched someone and the internet went wild. Now they're settling in court. Typical rapper. I guess he realized wannabe Mike Tyson wasn't a great career move. Or maybe he wanted to avoid dropping a diss track about his legal fees. Imagine the courtroom scene. Your Honor, I didn't sucker punch him. I just gave him an aggressive high five. Spoiler alert, that explanation didn't fly. DeBaby's lawyer probably aged 10 years from face palming. Settling this out of court was probably a good call. I mean, rappers in a courtroom? That's like asking a cat to bark. Plus, DeBaby likely saved us from a new series of courtroom raps. Oh, the horror. The opposing party is probably thinking, finally, I can eat my organic kale without looking over my shoulder. DeBaby's like, man, thank God that's over. Now I can get back to writing rhymes about something other than my legal battles. Can you imagine the judge's face reading the case details? So you punched a fan, Mr. Baby? That alone must have brightened up a few gloomy Mondays. Still, nothing says sorry like cold, hard cash. Everyone knows it's the universal Band-Aid. All right, folks, are you team DeBaby did the right thing or team he should have boxed his way out? Let us know in the comments. And remember, don't try this at home, kids. Settling lawsuits is expensive, even for a rapper. Like and subscribe, please.